Hello everybody, welcome LEGO fans, this is Mesba here from Mesbricks and today I have a limited edition uh, series 21 minifigures, this is the brand new minifigures and unlike the previous collectible minifigure series there's only 12 of them and I was lucky that I met another collector in an online forum and we decided to split a box so there's actually three of us and not only were we lucky to find each other to split the box so it would be cheaper inside the box there was exactly three full sets so i have all the 12 minifigures here and i'm hoping that my friend who gave it to me is correct in identifying because we did not open them up so what he did was he identified each of them and i'm not sure what vio is but we'll find out probably the violinist but let's see so i'm going to be doing it slightly different this time i'm going to be opening all of them to you live as i uh, record it it's there's not gonna be any editing so i'll just open it and we'll review it as we go along so this looks like the center piece so let's take a look i have a trusty pair of scissors so let's take a look now I'm kind of glad they only made it 12 pieces so it's easier to collect and it's cheaper as well and this is the center and the body they have built it uh, so sorry they have packaged it in a separate bag so let's cut it out put them all so I'm gonna draw the camera slightly back so you see what is exactly included and let me also tilt the camera slightly there we are all right so there is the center body this looks like the center pieces from the Harry Potter uh, Forbidden Forest series Let's take a look at the instruction sheet. Like series 20, it has a tape here that I ripped apart. So what we have is this piece right here. So let's put her together. There is a bow and arrow that goes here. She has a set of arrows. Now I'm not sure what centers do in the modern era. Do they carry guns? So the head is dual uh, sided. So I'm going to put the smiley face on. So you can see this is more of a very happy face. This is the regular smiley face. Um, one of the things I immediately notice is as you play along the attachment of this um, I forgot the exact name. This is where they keep all the arrows. This is not exactly great. You just pop it out and it comes off like that. So that is something you might be concerned about for playability. Um, let's see if I can focus. The printing on the body is really nice. Is there a back? And again, see the arrow is coming out. There is a slight back printing as well so all in all it's a good piece and it would go perfectly with my uh, harry potter set let's see there we are that's our center so there goes one correctly identified let's take a look at this this looks like it's i guess it's a bumblebee Or B so I'm not sure what oh this must be the beekeeper I'm confusing from another series so let's pour it out and oops I dropped something and the figure that I dropped is of course the beekeepers helmet so let's make this minifigure so this figure is this guy and it's a very interesting build 
you can see that they have special instructions for the beekeeper on the back so what I have is I have a cup that I'm using upside down and these are those leg attachments from the minifigures the DC minifigures I guess so this is the spray so the beekeeper holds this attachment upside down there we are and there are two faces so there is this face and this one so I put the helmet on and of course this is the beekeeper the bee now it would be nice to receive a lego printed bee but you're not getting it so this is the full figure we do have an extra leg attachment which i'm going to put here one of the things i notice is that the helmet has a slight scratch in it now i'm not sure whether it's because i dropped it right now but lego has been using some new type of plastic for their transparent pieces and it's not an uncommon complaint that they come already scratched so we already have the center and the B. So let's see what we have next. This is the pug. So I'm guessing it's this one. So it looks like we are doing a line here. Let's cut that open. Now I, I'm not cutting this very carefully because there is no fabric here for this particular figure. So we do get an extra bone so so far this minifigure series we have two extra pieces so let's put this guy together very quickly it's interesting that the color of the bone is uh, sand green or teal i haven't seen too many bones of this type the color is the one you see from the lego diner I like the little handkerchief and the you know paw toe prints whatever you want to call it there seems to be oops two faces so there is this expression and this guy and both of them is very pug like if I may say so so all in all this is a minifigure and it, so far is other than the center which i really liked actually i like all three so far so three for three for this series so far let's take a look this is pad now i'm not sure what pad is let's find out so many of these extras Oh, this is the surfer with the dolphin. This is a very, very nice uh, figure. So let me show you the dolphin first. It looks like a friend's dolphin. I'm sure it's in one of those friends or elves series. Or maybe the trolls, can't be sure. It has two stud receivers. So I'm guessing you can put it like this. There looks really good for an accessory it's really big because I guess the pad is for paddle boat let's see let's take a look so immediately on first glance I like this torso very nice printing reminds me of a beach in Southern California my favorite part of the United States back printing leg printing um, and i'm guessing dual sided head yep oh there's a sunglass let me put the one with the sunglass looks really cool now there is this let's see how it's supposed to go I didn't see it. it doesn't actually show where this part is supposed to go I'm guessing it's a life jacket 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in front. So this will take away the lovely uh, torso printing, but you know, safety first. There it is. And the head cap actually has hair as part of it, which is really nice. Many times you have, you put caps on females and they have long hairs and you can't do anything about it. But this one looks good. So maybe we can put her on the paddle boat. Let me show you the paddle boat itself. Very nice printing. Uh, I'll have to compare with other surfboards to see how it shapes up. Let's actually do it like that. So it's a little bit hard to get her to hold the paddle, but let's see. So I, if I put it like this, she does stand. So I can put this one, the dolphin will fall over. Nothing to be done. It's just the way the dolphin is. So maybe we can put it like that. All right, what's the next figure? Space Police. Let's do Space Police in a bit. I'm not, this is the one figure I'm not too excited on. I'm not too big on Space Police. Uh, this has nothing to do with my review of the Lego Modeler Police Station. So this is the plane, so probably this means the plane kid. Let's take a look. There it is. I like the way they wrap it in this type of special wrapping. So, you know, if you do this, it just doesn't fall and roll off somewhere else. Alright, let's take a look at this body first. This is a hip attachment really looks good i guess there's a propeller somewhere must be inside here all right let me put this figure together very quickly so this must go here through the hip and there so we have our plain kid Plain kid on your stand. Again, two propellers. So one of them is the extra. That's nice. Oh, we have an extra helmet. That's interesting. All right, let's um, let's put the propeller on first. One of the propellers. Now these propellers are usually on kids' caps. If you see. All right, so this one is looking good. Now, again, dual heads. There's a really happy one, somewhat happy one. What you can do is you can put the hair. So that's your little kid. Or you can actually put a helmet. And they, put, they have given us an extra set of goggles which is very nice. So I'm going to take the hair off and I'm going to put the helmet on with the goggles. Now that's really nice. All right, let's do that. So we have done one, two, three, four, five, nearly halfway there. Here's our VIO, which I am assuming is the violinist. And I'm going to put these extra pieces right here. These things go to the side, to the side, to be. There's a, oh, there is no plastic wrapping for this one. Interesting. Uh, I wonder what makes one get the plastic wrapping and not the other. So let's put the violins very quickly together. Wow, and again we, oh, let, let me show you the torso and the head so the torso looks like it has the classic tron i think black tron or something like that lego tron logo here interesting i wonder if they're going to come out with a 
Retrotron Lego set. Maybe. And again, this is a sleeping guy. And this is a sort of frowning. Interesting. So you put the hair on. The violin can... So there's a attachment here. And I'm guessing you can attach it here. So let's do that. So he's holding his violin like this. This is your, oops, I already broke it. This is the regular Harry Potter wand set. Let's put one here and let's give this to him. Hold it, my friend. There. There's your violin. Looks kind of angry though. Maybe he's being forced to take some violin lessons. But there we are. We are halfway there. So I'm going to stop the video here and then I'm going to make a part two. So for now, see you in just a moment. Hello and welcome back to part two of my live build and review of Lego collectible minifigure series 21. And why I'm doing it in two parts is that sometimes when you make a big video, the camera, the phone in my case, fails to save it. It could happen. I'm taking the chance it may happen. And then you have lost all your work. So the first part is done. We have reviewed the paddler, the pug person, the center, the beekeeper, the plane kid, and the violin kid, and all their accessories. So let's start with the second uh, set of six so there's 12 as you can see there's 12 minifigures here so we have done six so here's the next six and to start we will do the space police now so far my friend has been extremely correct in identifying all these bags with just feeling for the special pieces I am not an expert on that so I I'm in awe of people who can do that. I even offered to cut all the bags up to verify. He was very confident he didn't need to. So I'm hoping he is right and we have all 12. So is this the space police? Yes, it is. Now the space police has the most accessories it looks like or the most parts and yet it does not come in a plastic wrapper. So we have seen, so here you can see that there's still the handcuffs left and I have to sort of dig them out. And now I have to manually check where there's nothing left or not. But for some of the other figures, they came in wrappers like this. So it was easy. It just comes up in one go. Now for the space police, I'm not sure how to put it together. I mean, I could sort of figure it out but let us see oops i knocked the camera here let's see if it's mentioned in this instruction set so so far we have done one two three four five six so we have done the middle line two of this and now we are here and if i turn it around yep there is an instruction for space police right here so let me put it all together so first um goes the torso now before i proceed let me show you this this is a very classic space design so here is a zoomed in version you have the classic space logo very nice printing on the front legs have two colors so maybe it's dual molded all right so already it's an impressive uh, figure i thought i would this would be my least uh, favorite but no there's the body armor and oops let me also show you the back it has very nice gold letter printed police very very good job lego so here's the body piece it reminds me sort of of robocop and that's how you know i am a 90s kid now is robocop 90s or 80s that's a debate and again two sides two heads right let's sort of leave it the grumpy grumpy head um, there's the helmet and again extra visors so there's this very nice color and we have an extra 
visor, I'm going to toss it in that extra pile. Put the helmet on. And now, see, after the figure, you still have more accessories. So let me show you the figure as it is right now. So there's a body armor. So I guess he's ready for a riot in space or some futuristic planet. So you got to build his weapons, I'm guessing. So this one goes here. And there seems to be an extra one. Like so, but it doesn't show on the one. On the other side, we are supposed to put this gun. So, here's the gun. Or actually, like this. Fantastic. So, he has the gun. He has a type of baton, I guess. He has... Uh, he has two handkerchiefs, Low, lots of extra. So one of them goes in the extra pile, the other goes in his hands. So even in space, it's interesting, you need the old-fashioned uh, handcuffs, not handkerchiefs, sorry. Did I say handkerchiefs? I meant handcuffs. And finally, a shield. Now why would, if you're in space, why would you not have an electronic Star Trek type shield? I don't know. But here's our space police. Very, very nice. Very well done. Off you go here. Now, what's left? Let's see. Our next one is the singer. So that must be this lady. Let's take a look. I'm quite excited. She appears to be quite colorful. Now, she is wrapped in plastic. Oh, I'm very lucky I did not cut this with my scissors. So, let's see how to put her together. Yep. So, first you sort of have to get her out of here. So far on all of these figures, there has been lots and lots of accessories. So, one cannot complain each torso has been detailed each torso i have not seen one that is very plain the beekeeper you can say is sort of plain but uh, i don't know if i showed see it has you know honey marks and all that stuff so very very detailed now i know we didn't take a look in detail on the torso of the plain rider the plain kid but we will so this singer has a sort of big skirt like thing from her hips. Um, let's see if she has two sided heads. Of course, one like that. That's so I'm going to leave this side on. Let's see. Her head piece is again very exotic so i cannot show her hair but that's how she looks very very nice now in toronto we have something called the caribana so maybe she is part of that and i have never seen this before there's a special way like this is very interesting now the last time i've seen something like this was on the DC collectible minifigure series with the uh, leg attachment but this one is for the mic so you put a stud like that you put this bar and you put this receiver here this is for the mic and again you get two mics you get two studs actually three wow Three studs. So lots of extra figures. The mic can be in her hand, the microphone, or on here. So let's just put it here like that. And she is singing. There. 
There we are. Again, reminds me of Caribana. All right, how many do we have left? We still have to do the Aztec Warrior. I'm guessing it's an Aztec. I just made it up. Could be an Inca. I am sorry. I don't know my Ancient Warrior. You know what? Let's just call him Ancient Warrior. That's nice. We have our Space Alien. I'm guessing that's for the Space Police to chase. And we have these two. The Castaway Guy, Tom Hanks, I'm calling him, and the Ladybug. All right, so in my hand is the ladybug. Let's see if I can finish this box. Plastic wrapping or no plastic wrapping? Let's see. No plastic. And see, I almost lost the actual ladybug. So Lego, can you please tell me when you are doing plastic wrapping and when you are not? Um... Any instructions? No instructions. So we'll have to do this on our own. What a fantastic torso. Details on the front. Nothing on the back, but the legs have two colors. Um, of course, there's nothing on the back because you're going to put this on. Very, very nice. The wings of a ladybird. Uh, I am guessing... You'll have two, yep, two heads, one and two. Let's put this one. There we have the ladybug costume. Now this one is a bit rubbery. It's not very hard. And what she has is she has an actual ladybug. So this is very interesting. A ladybug costume carrying an actual ladybug. There. And you get an extra, which I dropped. Please give me plastic there. So this is an extra ladybug figure. So that's nine down, three to go. And again, very, very nice figure. So far, I have not seen one weak figure. Okay. Here is a figure AI. Is this the alien? So this one's the AL. Let's take a look. Yep, it is my alien. Now it's very nice to get an alien outside of the Star Wars series. Um, I remember I had Galaxy Squad uh, in the 2000s, I think, or Space Police, actual Space Police. So let's see, this is a very simple minifigure, not too much complications here. A crowbar, I don't know why the criminal carries a crowbar always, especially in space, but here we are. So let's take a look at this figure, nice detail on the front, nice printing on the back. Let's see if we can focus properly right here. And the crowbar is a different color as well, not red or black. This one looks like from those mine minor series or the Chima series. So, you know, very nice, very nice. All right, we got our alien. So two figures left. Here is my ancient warrior. So my friend also wrote Aztec. So maybe it's Aztec. We don't know. But it's nice to see Lego do historical figures. I have all the Roman figures they released. So again, no plastic wrap this time. It just seems to be very, very random. So, very nice detailing. So I'm guessing these are body painting on the front and on the legs. Tattoos on the side and on the back so once again very very detailed so then we put the head the head has two sides as well so i'm going to put this one in the front so he's sort of angrily charging at somebody wow very very nice details on the shield let me put it on so i can show it to you 
this reminds me of Tintin and the Prisoners of the Sun. So very, very detailed. This is really, really nice. And it has a weapon. Now, this is interesting. Is this a cricket bat? Can, I mean, it's not a bat, cricket bat here, of course, but can I use it as a cricket bat in a mod? See if I can use that as a cricket bat, these wand, these could be the wickets. Take a look. Yeah, it should work. Okay, something to think about. And let's put the head. Wow. So, nice detailing, looks like a lion. This is probably the most well detailed figure in this series. And not just because it's one of the last ones I'm opening. All right, one more to go and it says beach. So this is probably my Tom Hanks figure from Castaway. And it's too bad they did not include Wilson. All right, let's put him out. Nothing in. How am I supposed to make him? They include special instructions for the hermit crab. All right, let's take a look. So I'm supposed to take a stud on the crab. You know what? Let me show you the crab before I do anything to it. This is the crab. Very, very nice. I don't think we have seen anything like this before. So to this, I have to add a stud with a hole. And on top, one of those white ice cream cone waffle or the poop piece, however you want to call it. And that's your hermit crab with his shell. Let's make the castaway figure. So again, very detailed, a torso with a shell printing, shorts, back printing, no side printing on the arm. Oh, there is a tattoo. Very detailed. Uh, two extra white studs as usual. All right, they can go in the extra pile. This is the guy without the hair, the big hair piece. No back expression, that's strange. So, but the good thing is, you can use him like this, which is believable enough, or you can put this big hairpiece, which is also believable. And this reminds me of the caveman from series, I guess, two or one. And he has a bottle. Let me show you the bottle. He is making a note. So that's Castaway. Uh, it's a fine figure by itself, a little bit underwhelming compared to the others in the line. All right, so these are all the Series 21 figures right there built. I might do a detailed look at each one of them later, but this was just a live build coming to you from Mesbricks. So my friends, Take care, stay safe, bye.